We're now going to be blinding lights by the weekend, and it's going to be a new Kaladi. Now, on the PDF file at the top, it says Capo 3. Ignore that, that's for the guitar players. We're going to have to retranspose it so you don't use a Capo, and it works really, really well. Here's the interpretation for ukulele of what the keyboard plays at the introduction. And that's what your synthesizer keyboard's playing. So it's a really cool riff. I'm going to take you through this step by step. Remember, no capo for the ukulele. With the guitar, I've transcribed it or transposed it to make it easier for the guitarist. But on ukulele, the chords are quite cool. But enough talking. Let's have a look at what our fretting hand must do for the introduction. Nice and up close. See my fingers are numbered. We're starting at the bottom of the page, which is ukulele, no capo. And you're starting with a... And you want a tiny pause between those first two ones. And the next phrase... That... Three on the third string, one is where it was on the second string, and the next three on the second string as well. Those three notes are pretty quick. And you finish off with the open third string, and you fret number three again as well. So super slow motion, your first bar of the intro keyboard riff should sound like this. And at the correct speed, one, two, three, four, and... played it twice is because they play it twice. Now the second riff is going to sound like this. And it starts off with a very quick fret one, string one, finger one, and it's going to go very quick from there to fret number three on the second string, nice and quick like this. Then it onto one on the second string and three on the third string. So slow motion, one, two, three, four, and and the next bar, the last bar, number four, is going to start the same. It's just got one extra note, which happens to be one on the second fret. So let's take it through now, all four bars, nice and slow first. Are right, we ready? From the first bar, all four. One, two, three, four, and... sideways that's called vibrato i think it sounds cool so you don't have to do that and obviously in a synth they have to use other different techniques for uh, vibrato but if you want to do that little movement go for it it sounds neat and at full speed one two three four and so it's a nice quick but still relatively easy riff to do now I'm going to take you through the chords. There's going to be some new chords there, like F minors and some other chords. Let's take you step by step through the progression. Now remember, the guitar with the capo is going to play D minor. We're not going to play D minor. We're going to play what's written in red, F minor. Now F minor looks like this. So it's some new chords, slightly more intermediate level. Finger one, string one, third fret. Second finger goes to the second string, fourth fret ring finger to the top and the pinky squeezing underneath both in the fifth fret this is your new f minor your c minor has to be a bar chord we don't have an option for this unfortunately finger one across all four strings in the third fret and then your ring finger number three goes to fret five on the fourth string this is c minor e flat not a personal favorite <laughs> okay it's going to have finger one going to be in the first fret first string and then fingers two, three, and four have to sort of squeeze into the third fret, fourth string, third string, second string. So I cheat a bit. I just do that instead. So instead of doing this, I do that. But the trick over here is now I mustn't strum that top string, otherwise it's going to sound pretty dissonant. This is my E flat cheat. And then lastly, F has got finger one flat across the bottom two strings, first fret. Finger two goes into third string, second fret, and then to the top string, finger three, third fret. This is my B flat. So what's cool about this song, it's got a lot of new chords that we might not have used as much. 
F minor, for example, C minor, the E flat, and B flat. Now I'm going to show you just quickly the strumming pattern. You can use a pick if you want. I prefer strumming with my fingers. I think it gives more of a warmer sound. If I use a pick, you can hear, for example, with that F minor, I'm going to fret now. It's very sort of almost too clear, too trebly, too twangy. With fingers, slightly warmer, deeper, richer sound. But that's a preference, not an absolute. And um, your rhythm, slow motion, down, down, up, up, down. Twice through for each bar. One, two, C minor, E flat. with this song is once you've done that introduction you've done the whole you've done all that and you're onto the chords F minor C minor E flat B flat those four chords in that sequence strum each chord twice runs from beginning to end the whole way through but in the bridge you'll see when he sings I can't see clearly when you're gone there's a little NC in blue NC means no chord so you do this you just go quiet okay so if you were to play now, for example, the bridge now, you'll have your F minor for starters. And then your C minor, E flat, and quiet. That quiet means N, C, no chord. So when you're working with this PDF file, just do a little mental note to yourself and say, well, all the chords in red replace what the chords were. So D minor is now F minor, A minor is now C minor, C is now E flat, G is now B flat. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, we need a capo at fret number three. And capos on a ukulele mean that the chords get really, really cramped. They get very squashed over here. So it's not nice to play. So I would prefer we didn't use a capo for the song. And learn these new chords, learn your F minors, your C minors, E flats and B flats. They're very useful chords to know. And I hope you enjoyed the song. It's, it's a good fun song to do. There's nothing tricky after it here. It's just a really cool song. Any questions, you've got my WhatsApp details. Otherwise, have a good week. Take care. Cheers. Bye.